Good morning and welcome back to Video Diary on the Farm, Saturday morning. Uh, as you can see in the background, it's all go. We've got some uh, black solids there, bio solids. We managed to get hold of source some of them. And we've got a thousand ton coming for spreading, for uh, ready for spreading in uh, summer on this land. So uh, yeah, I'll we'll just have a quick look and he's going to push some up with his um, new Devlon digger in the background, as you can see. I'll have a look at that, it's first day out with it. Lovely bit of machine by the looks of it. Yeah, first day out, little 14 ton zero swing Devlon digger, we'll play it on it. Smart. Yeah. There's five lorries on bringing this stuff. Lovely smelly stuff. Coming from the Sheffield area. It is. Separated sewerage sludge, biosolids. Anyway, he's going to give us a, a push these loads up and a quick demo of it. Nice blade on the front, just like ours has. Yeah, what he does when you get every lorry here, he just steeps it up. It'll go a little bit higher, but not too high because it's soft, but uh, we'll just stack the sides off and make it all look good. The greaser on it, that's what I call good technology. Can't believe how it's just that, yeah, like a big jelly. Yeah, you want to walk on it, I think uh, you'll soon sink outside. Put some hours in on this job. Telling me they often start at uh, five in the morning till six or seven at night. Like a jelly, he just dropped that on it. Well, if you can see, but this uh, spring bottle is coming through, just come through nicely. So they've been drilled about a week. Yeah. See it in full rows soon, but yeah, that was good. Certainly a nice smell to this stuff, but uh, vile it should feed the land and do it good, just like that mushroom compost. We've got some mats to lay down when uh, it starts turning wet and it talks to some rain tonight. Uh, we'll lay them for the lorries to back on so that uh, they make a path in without making ruts and paddling. They like to leave the uh, job tidy. So, uh, yeah, all good. And then, the, as you've seen, they've got a uh, they've got a road sweeper back in the yard, and it's uh, sweeping up the lorries as they leave the farm. So, yeah, all good. Because he can't sit on top of the, the heap and it's like jelly, this is how he normally pushes it up.
Yeah, just at Melton Road here, putting the uh, first dressing of uh, nitrogen on the spring barley that was drilled. So, uh, yeah, job's complete for now, and it's raining to boot. But, as I said before, it doesn't matter if it's a rain when you're putting liquid nitrogen on, so all's good. I'm just putting the uh, final dose of uh, nitrogen on some of the spring barley at the minute. Giving it a top up. Now I'm on the hillside here where you can see the wind turbines and uh, in that corner, well, besides it being raining again, there is the, uh, I don't want to focus on that. There we, there we are, it's the tree harvester. It's still with us. It's in the background there backed up but uh, yeah of course this weather would uh, pick up but suiting this spring barley though on the sandland it uh, it looks well what we drilled early on well bloody arse in here look at this fucking motorbikes have done it down here this is an area of the sandland fields and we get a lot of motorbikes coming on them Look at the damage I'll show you some more in the middle of the field when I go down but uh, this is the problem we have I mean let's have a look over here the Mekin motocross jumps this is how bad the, the situation is it's getting Look, bloody jumps. What they do, they're not uh, not daft. They get mini diggers in even. Oh, we've got a jump there. Go down there, over, up. It's getting beyond a joke. This, it is when they get a digger in to dig that out. Off into the trees. Unbelievable. Yeah, as many of uh, some of the older viewers you'll appreciate, we've, um, in previous episodes, we've had uh, trouble with motorbikes, uh, motocross bikes in particular, and quad bikes coming. Uh, from all over the field, even out of the counties, Fowersfields, Manchester, and uh, th there's some rides that tend to go across the bottom of these woods here, that, um, and they've made some jumps and that, and uh, they've made some new ones here in this field, which is uh, what I've just shown you, with uh, the burnt a load of bracken down, this one didn't get out of control, and yeah, it's unbelievable that they go as far as to get mini diggers in to uh, make jumps and uh, this sort of activity it's obviously spread through social media and that's how people come from far and wide to it well it, it's just not on especially when they start destroying our crops and running across them I mean look at the damage there I mean they've been just tearing round in circles all in this bottom strip here and they'll continue to do that as well even as the crop gets taller and taller it'll get to the stage where it's in here and they'll uh, they'll just flatten it they'll just keep going there's been a quad bike or a, a four-wheel drive well maybe a four-wheel drive i don't know a quad bike link going around there but there's just no respect at all and that's where the fire is over the the jumps the Screen. Now I'm getting a bit nearer to it. Just another quick clip of uh, where they've been tear out and around in circles on this headland here. Now we're on with loading wheat at the minute. Bit of a queue in the minute out there. There's, one, there's another one uh, well you can't see him, but he's at the top of the wave bridge anyway. Yeah, with, with uh, 12 loads of wheat going out this week and uh, one or two barley. So uh, they're uh, 
that's why we're busy at the minute. Another one, go on, another one queuing up. That goal. Well, it's got to that time of year again. We've had to put narrow row crop wheels on, all done, dusted now. Rightly or wrongly, they're on. But uh, we had 30 mil, 30, 31 mil of rain here on Sunday. So uh, it's made things a bit sticky again at the minute. But uh, hopefully get a day's blowing. It's blowing too much spraying today anyway. Get a day's blowing and then uh, we shall be ready to roll and get some uh, fungicides on the uh, barley and wheat. Well, the rain passed, the winds dropped a bit and we finally made a start of uh, putting the uh, T1s on the uh, winter barley and then we'll go through on to the winter wheat. The sun is shining, it's certainly warming up. Out. If you look at that uh, outside temperature, it says 16.4 degrees. I'm not sure it's quite as warm as that at the minute, but it's certainly about 15 degrees. So, uh, yeah, it makes a nice change. Valley's looking good, but, uh, it's loving the sunshine. So, yeah, looks promising at the minute. rain of the night, they've had to put the matting down, so the lorry's back onto that, and then uh, just tip up, ready to push up then. That's about half of it here now, There's about 500 tonnes, maybe just under there, so I'll not be long getting it finished off tomorrow, or certainly day after. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm, I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, that rain really buggers up, on the uh, getting the mythcanthus baled on the Sunday when we had 31 mil of rain, um, it's wet it that much. It's got to be turned, and uh, turning it isn't quite that easy. And uh, then we want some wind to dry it, but we don't want the wind for spraying, so we can't win. But at least temperatures have warmed up and uh, everything's helping. So hopefully next week we'll be able to show you some footage of the mythcanthus being turned and uh, and being baled. Fingers crossed. Anyway, if you have liked the content, please hit that like, share and subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll catch you again next week.